Architecture is a complex, multifaceted field that requires a strong understanding of design principles. Today, I am going to explain the top 10 fundamentals and principles in architectural design. Now let's get into it. Functionality. Functionality is the backbone to any successful architectural design. We have to understand that architecture is not just a sculptural thing that people occupy in our studio projects, but it actually serves a purpose. The functionality of a building determines its usefulness and is the primary objective of any design. To create a functional building, it is necessary to identify the needs and requirements of the user, typically given to you by your studio brief or the client. The architect and designer is responsible for integrating this into the final design. So for example, a hospital must be designed with patient care and comfort in mind, while an office building must be designed to promote productivity and collaboration. Simplicity. Simplicity is the key to creating elegant and timeless designs. Simple designs are easy easy to understand, visually appealing, and easy to maintain. Simplicity can be achieved by eliminating unnecessary elements, using a minimal color palette, and focusing on clean lines and shapes. This really comes through with modernism, but you can even see it in antiquity. One example of a building that applies simplicity in its design is the Farnsworth House, designed by the famous architect Mies van der Rohe. The house is located in Illinois and is a simple yet elegant design that incorporates clean lines and a minimal color palette. The Farnsworth house consists of a rectangular glass box that floats above the ground supported by a steel column structure. The interior of the house is minimalist with an open plan that creates a sense of spaciousness and flow. The simplicity of the design emphasizes the relationship between the interior and exterior spaces, blurring the boundaries between them, and the use of simple and pure materials such as glass and steel creates a timeless and elegant aesthetic that is both functional and visually appealing. The Farnsworth House is a testament to the power of simplicity in architecture, demonstrating how minimal design can truly create a beautiful yet functional building. Proportion. Proportion is the relationship between different elements of a building, and it is critical to creating a visually appealing design. The correct proportion creates a sense of balance and harmony in the design, and to achieve the correct proportion, it is necessary to consider size, shape, and placement of each element. An example of a building that applies proportions in its design is the Parthenon, a temple located in the Acropolis in Athens in Greece, built in the 5th century BC. The Parthenon is considered one of the finest examples of Greek architecture and is renowned for its proportional harmony. The Parthenon's design incorporates the principles of classic Greek architecture, including the use of the golden ratio, which is a mathematical ratio found in nature and is believed to create a visual harmony. The building facade is divided into three sections, with the middle section slightly larger larger than the two flanking sections, creating a sense of balance. The columns that support the roof of the Parthenon also demonstrate the use of proportional harmony. The columns are wider at the base and taper slowly towards the top, creating a sense of upward movement that draws the eye towards the sky. Placing of the columns is also carefully calculated to create a sense of balance. The use of proportional harmony in the Parthenon's design creates a sense of beauty and balance that is both aesthetically pleasing as it is functional. The building's proportions are carefully calibrated to create a sense of balance and harmony, ensuring that the building remains visually stunning more than two millennia after its construction. Scale. Scale refers to the size of the building in relation to its surroundings. The scale of a building is crucial to creating a sense of place and ensuring that it fits seamlessly into its environment. The scale must be appropriate to the context of the building and should take into account the surrounding buildings, landscapes, and natural features. One example of a building that applies this in its design is the Burj Khalifa, located in Dubai. The Burj Khalifa is currently the tallest building in the world, standing at 828 meters or 2,717 feet tall. The design incorporates the principle of scaling to create a sense of grandeur and awe. The building features a series of setbacks or terraces that creates a stepping effect as the building rises towards the sky. The setbacks are carefully calibrated to create a sense of proportion and balance, ensuring that the building appears stable and graceful despite its immense height. In addition, the building's design incorporates a series of vertical fins that run up the facade of the building, create a sense of movement and rhythm. The fins are carefully scale to create a sense of proportion and balance that also serve a functional purpose by shading the building and reducing the overall solar heat gain. The use of scaling at this building creates a sense of grandeur and, and majesticness, <laughs> enhancing the building's visual impact and making it a true icon of modern architecture. By carefully calibrating the building's proportions and using 
vertical elements create a sense of movement. The Burj Khalifa demonstrates the power of scaling in architectural design. The next principle is balance. Balance is the distribution of visual weight in design. A balanced design creates a sense of stability and harmony. To achieve balance, it is necessary to distribute the visual weight evenly throughout its design. One example of a building that applies visual weight in its design is the Sydney Opera House, located in Australia. The Opera House is a multi-venue performing arts center, and its design incorporates a series of shell-like structures that create a sense of balance and visual weight. The Sydney Opera House design features a series of sail-like structures that appear to float above the water of the Sydney Harbour. The sails are carefully balanced to create a sense of proportion and harmony and their curved shapes create a sense of rhythm. In addition, the Opera House design incorporates a series of stepped platforms that create a sense of visual weight and grounding. The platforms are carefully calibrated to create a sense of balance and stability, ensuring that the building appears to be firmly rooted into the ground despite its ethereal appearance. The use of balance and visual weight in the Sydney Opera House creates a sense of harmony and beauty that is both functional and visually appealing. By carefully calibrating the building's proportions portions and using the curved and stepped elements to create a sense of movement and grounding, the Opera House demonstrates the power of balance in architectural design. And the next principle is unity. Unity refers to the consistency of the design and it's critical to creating a cohesive and harmonious whole. One example of a building that applies unity in its design is Falling Water, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, which is located in Mill Run, Pennsylvania. Falling Water is a masterpiece in organic architecture, blending seamlessly with its natural surroundings and creating a sense of unity and harmony with the landscape. Falling Water's design features a series of cantilevered terraces that appear to float above the waterfall that runs throughout the property. The terraces are carefully integrated into the natural landscape, creating a sense of unity between the building and the environment. In addition, Falling Water's design incorporates a series of organic shapes and materials including stone, wood, and water to further emphasize this harmony and integration with the natural Natural world. The building's interior spaces are carefully calibrated to create a sense of flow and movement, ensuring that the building appears unified as a whole rather than a collection of separate parts. The use of unity and harmony in falling water creates a sense of beauty and integration that is both functional and visually appealing. Frank Lloyd Wright created a masterpiece of architectural design that continues to inspire young and emerging architects more than 80 years since its construction. Contrast. Contrast is the difference between multiple architectural elements. Contrast can be achieved through the use of color, texture, and shape. Contrast creates a visual interest that can be used to draw attention to specific elements of the design. One example of a building that applies high contrast in its design is the Guggenheim in Bilbao, Spain. The Guggenheim is a museum of modern and contemporary art, and its designs features a series of sweeping curves and angles that create a sense of dynamic tension and high contrast. The Guggenheim features a series of metallic curves that appear to float above the adjacent river. The curves are carefully calibrated to create a sense of balance and proportion, all while creating a high contrast effect with the surrounding buildings and landscape. In addition, the Guggenheim incorporates a series of sharp angles and contrasting materials, including titanium and glass, to create a sense of drama and tension. The building's interior spaces are carefully calibrated to create a sense of drama and tension, ensuring that that high contrast effect continues throughout the visitor experience. Rhythm is a repetition of visual elements in design. Rhythm creates a sense of movement and can be used to guide the eye through a design. It can be achieved through the use of pattern, texture, and or color. One example of a building that applies rhythm in its design is the Barcelona Pavilion designed by Van der Rohe in Barcelona, Spain. It is a modernist building that served as the German pavilion for the 1929 exhibition in Barcelona, and its designs features a series of repeating elements that create a sense of rhythm and flow. Barcelona pavilion design features a series of columns and walls that are carefully spaced and arranged to create a sense of repetition. The columns and walls are made of high quality materials, including marble, steel, and glass that adds to the building's sense of luxury and refinement. In addition, the Barcelona pavilion design incorporates a series of open spaces and courtyards that are carefully calibrated to 
create a sense of movement and flow. By carefully repeating elements and arranging spaces to create this continuity, Van der Rohe created a masterpiece of modern architecture that continues to inspire and influence other architects and designers to this day. Emphasis. Emphasis is the use of visual elements to draw attention to specific areas of the design. Emphasis can be achieved through the use of color, texture, shape, placement, it is critical for creating a focal point in the design. One example that we already talked about that not only applies balance in its design, but also emphasis is the Sydney Opera House. The use of emphasis in the Sydney Opera House's design creates a sense of drama that is both functional and visually appealing. By using a series of interlocking shells with contrasting materials creates a strong emphasis on the building's very distinctive, very iconic form. It's no wonder that this became a masterpiece of architectural design and a symbol of Australian culture and identity today. And the last principle I wanted to talk about is harmony. Harmony is the overall sense of unity and balance in design, yet a little bit different than both. A harmonious design is visually appealing and creates a sense of calmness. To achieve harmony, it is necessary to consider all the principles of architectural design and incorporate them in a cohesive and balanced whole. One example that applies harmony and also unity is falling water. The cantilevered terraces and balconies that we previously discussed creates a sense of balance and proportion, but also harmonizes the natural contours of the site. The interior spaces are carefully arranged to create that flow, ensuring that there's a harmony between the natural environment and the built environment. The use of harmony in falling water creates a sense of serenity that is both functional and visually appealing, seamlessly integrating the building into a natural landscape using natural materials to create a sense of unity. Frank Lloyd Wright truly created a masterpiece of organic architecture that inspires us all. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if I missed any. Now please note that uh, other top 10 lists might have feature different terminologies and stuff, but I think overall they're pretty much the same. I hope that helped.